Hey guys, this is Nancy and welcome back to Designer Savvy. If you're new, we're glad you're here. I have a great recipe to share with you today. It is gluten-free buttermilk biscuits. I found this recipe online from Mama Knows Gluten-Free. Just a few simple ingredients, gluten-free all-purpose flour, gluten-free baking powder, salt, sugar, buttermilk, unsalted butter, and egg. The recipe called for Pillsbury gluten-free flour. I've tried that three times before. The biscuits were great and fluffy, but they had a stale taste, so I decided to try Bob's Red Meal gluten-free one-to-one baking flour. I love the results and no stale taste. Here is the baking powder that I use that's gluten-free. Use it all the time. And the Land Lakes unsalted butter. Use that all the time and love it. I have all the ingredients out on the counter, and I decided to do a double batch, one for me and one for my sister. Before adding the butter to the recipe, you cut it into small pieces and put it in a Ziploc bag in the freezer for 10 minutes. And this is a good time to mix all of your dry ingredients together. After the 10 minutes, this is what it looks like when you take it out of the freezer and you add it to your dry mixture. You take a few minutes and blend and mix well with a pastry blender. And this is what it should look like when you're done. Small pea sized nuggets. Next, we're gonna add one large egg and you wanna be sure that you mix this up very, very well. The recipe calls for one cup of buttermilk and we're gonna add that directly to our egg mixture and we're gonna mix that thoroughly before adding to our dry ingredients. Gently fold in your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients. Over mixing can yield tough biscuits. If after mixing you find that you don't have the sticky wet consistency that you need, that means you may have a little too much flour and just add a couple tablespoons additional buttermilk and just add as much as is necessary to end up with a sticky dough. You'll wanna put your dough on floured wax or parchment paper. I taped mine to the top of the oven. It's gonna look like I'm pampering the baby here, but you have to be a little more ginger when working with gluten-free flour. I am continually making sure that I have floured the top of the dough as well as my marble rolling pin. I typically use that rolling pin because dough doesn't stick to it quite as much. And I am continually flouring that rolling pin as well. If you want thinner biscuits, then roll out a thinner dough, half inch. If you want thicker biscuits, then roll out a thicker dough like three quarters of an inch or even an inch. Do not twist when you press down with the biscuit cutter. Twisting can cause the edges of the biscuit dough to seal, therefore your biscuits won't rise as much. This recipe says that you can get 12 biscuits out of this batch of dough. Because I'm making my biscuits thinner, I can get 19 biscuits. So once I cut all the biscuits out of that dough, I form it into another dough ball gently. You try not to mash it and squish it any more than you have to. You just pretty much want to form it into a dough ball. And turn it over and flour it. And you repeat the same process. With gluten-free dough, you don't fold it in quite as much as you do when you use wheat flour. Here I'm showing you the flour mixture I use again, Bob's Red Mill Gluten-Free One-to-One Baking Flour. And I did get that at my local Kroger store. Again, keep your dough floured. Keep your rolling pin floured. And just finish out that dough mixture. I don't like to waste, so I roll out every last little bit that I can. There we have it. We are all done. There's our 19 biscuits on the Pampered Chef baking stone. We are going to pop those in a 450 degree preheated oven for 15 minutes. Now you know your oven, electric versus gas, so you know you might need to subtract a few minutes or you might need to add a few minutes. So just pay attention, keep up with it, and they'll be ready in just a few. I have an electric oven and it's an older model and I know that it typically takes me a couple more minutes of cooking time. So my biscuits were in for about 17 minutes. Oh my goodness, how delicious does that look? There is nothing better than a hot buttered biscuit. And the fact that these have butter in the mix, oh, makes them even more delicious.
Guys, I wish you could smell these. Would that not be a fantastic addition to dinner tonight? Or awesome with some country ham and some eggs fried in that country ham juice. Ah, oh, one of my most favorite things in all the world. Butter on top sure keeps those biscuits moist. Guys, I don't know about you, but I have worked up a hearty appetite and I am ready to serve some biscuits. For this meal tonight, I have chosen to serve three jellies, raspberry, grape, and orange marmalade. You could also add honey if you wanted to. I absolutely love honey, but for tonight, it's just these three. Comment below and let me know what's your favorite jelly and which one do you think I'll choose. You guessed it, orange marmalade. I love the orange peel in that, then the combination of the sweet and the tangy lathered on top of that melted butter. Mmm, mmm. I love biscuits. And this is absolutely going to be delicious. Guys, this recipe was so easy. It took 15 minutes of prep time, 15 minutes of cook time. You are absolutely going to love this recipe. If you have celiac disease or if you are on a gluten-free diet due to gluten sensitivity, there is no reason on earth why we can't eat great tasting food and still be gluten-free. Do you have a gluten-free allergy? If so, leave a comment below. Hope you enjoyed this video today. If you would like to see more gluten-free recipes in future videos, please comment below. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.